I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished this piano. It's a Yamaha C5. These are, these are very, very popular instruments. The C3, the C7, the C5. These are, uh, these are pianos that I always kind of have my, have my feelers out for um, because I'm a big fan. And I'm a, I'm a big fan not only because they're fantastic instruments, but also because they just kind of, um, I guess I guess you could say sell themselves. People just sit down and <clears throat> and fall in love with with them. And and obviously Yamaha, of course, needs no introduction. So it's just kind of an easy uh, easy piano to fall in love with in in every regard. I'll play it for you in just a second. You'll you'll hear what I'm talking about. But let me first give you a quick tour of the piano. We actually haven't done anything on the finish. The finish was already in virtually perfect condition. I wouldn't give it an A plus, but I would say I would say it's in A condition. The the blemishes that it has are very, very minor, virtually non-existent. And then in here you can see that everything is just immaculately clean. We even have the key, which like that's kind of an indication that this piano was was babied. You know, you always know by those kinds of indications, not, not only by how the piano looks on the inside but, and the outside, but things like the key and, and having the original key cover, the felt, that, those kinds of things. Like this person was an immaculate, meticulous person that took care of their things and, and that was the owner of this piano. But nonetheless, you know, it's a 1988, and so 30 years is, is not a terribly long time, but it's enough time that, that we need to do a cleaning. We need, to, we need to reshape hammers, align things, do a full regulation of the action. We're, we're trying to make this piano as close to brand new as we can. This piano, if it were brand new, would be, uh, what, $65,000, something like that, $70,000, and we have, it, we have it for a fraction of that. Now, is this piano absolutely comparable to a, to a brand new one? Probably not, but it is really, really close. I mean, uh, if, if we were to do like a blind Coke Pepsi taste test between this piano and a brand new C5, I, I think that it would probably be virtually split <clears throat> down the middle. That's how good this piano uh, sounds and how good it feels, and so, and so where, uh, and, and, I, and that's what I'm all about. That's, you know, how I've, uh, where I've really focused in the piano industry and, and, and really how I even live my life personally. I look for things that are just a great value, you know, from, from tools to, to cars to, to things that, that, you know, that me and my family consume. We, we look for something like this that's just an awesome value, you know, like new and, um, a fraction, a fraction of what, what the cost would be brand new. And why don't, I, why don't I show you while we're talking about that, talking about everything that we've done to bring it back to, back to new. I'll pull out the action and show you what I'm referring to. And maybe I'll just mention this briefly. My wife and I were looking for a trailer, like, a, like an RV, RV trailer over the weekend. And we went to a dealer and we even, we even talked about it, you know, going, going used like on, on Craigslist or something, seeing what we could find there versus, versus going to a dealer. And I actually applied, applied that logic of, of what we do. I figured my, my wife and I even had this discussion. We should go to a dealer because at a dealer, you know, they have the resources and they, and they, and they have their reputation that they're going to go through these these used trailers and make them perfect like we make pianos perfect i mean that's what we do we go through and we spend four six eight painstaking weeks of of going over everything with a very fine tooth comb and i figured you know if we're going to buy this trailer um it, it'd be worth it in the same way that i believe in what we do that it's that it's a great value they're going to make sure that everything is immaculately clean they're going to they're going to make sure that everything works, the air conditioning and the heater and the, I don't know, all of the appliances, make sure the carpet is, has, been, has been cleaned with a, 
steam cleaner or however they clean the carpets. You know, they're going to go through it as painstakingly precise as we do. And then, and after we had looked at like a bunch of them and some of them were kind of looking, you know, somewhat dingy and, and I asked the guy, so, so what, what do you do? What's the advantage of, of buying from you versus used? And, and he said, oh no, all of our trailers are as is. He said, he said, we, we basically do nothing to, to these, to these trailers. And so I didn't say anything to the guy, but I was like, hmm, okay, got it as is. And this is like, as you got it, which couldn't be further from the truth. I'm, I'm sorry to, to keep hammering this home. And I, and I realized that some, some piano dealers do that. The piano that you have on the, the floor of, of some piano dealers is the same piano that was a day before in someone's living room after 30 years of use or after 50 years of use or whatever it is. That is so not the case here. Okay, so let's talk about that. These hammers, they get, they get flattened. They, they uh, get indentations from where they've hit the string. We go through and we reshape all of them back to their proper rounded shape so they're not flat on the top. We voice them so that they have a, have a, nice, a nice tone. We go through and lubricate the action, tighten everything up, properly align everything. Things become misaligned. We go through and do a full regulation. What I'm referring to there, let's, let's look at the side of this action and you can see what I'm talking about. There's built-in adjustability on piano actions because it's known that they're going to go out of regulation. There's a very precise touch that is required. So there's built-in adjustability. You can see a screw here. You can see a screw here under, underneath there. There's a screw on this, this part here called the jack. This spring here that regulates the spring tension of the repetition lever. That can't be too strong or too weak. There's a screw under here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. A screw underneath right there. There's a screw right here called the let-off button. The height of the key is regulated with little punchings under there. The height of the, or the depth of the key that you can press called the key dip, that's regulated with these punchings here, ensuring that the distance you can depress the key. So all of these things together, and I might, I might be missing uh, one or two, just kind of blowing through it. There's, there's the damper timing and all of these things that have to be adjusted just so to, to give the correct touch. We go through that on every piano to make sure that it's as close to perfect as we can and we can get it pretty close. And that's, that's what we do. And we're proud of it if you can't tell. <laughs> influences. 
Anyway, piano's awesome, and this and this piano uh, not only not only is it going to perform like new for for the time being, it's going to perform really really well at a very high level for decades, literally decades to come. I have no no concerns. Awesome piano, couldn't recommend it more highly, and most importantly, a great value. Thanks for watching.